our latest adventure, myself, Denty, and the rest of the England team travelled over 1,200 miles to fish one of the most daunting venues on the planet. Over a thousand kilometres long and a river system home to species of fish that grow to over 200 pounds. Single fish over 200 pounds in weight. It might have been the most difficult, intimidating and scary venue for a world championship that we have ever encountered. Well, God, where he's come. I am absolutely anxiety through the roof. Because he could be world champion. Where are we, JD? We are on the River Ebro. Look at that! Ain't it mad? We're going to fish the 2023 World Championship on this venue. Just got here, haven't we? Yeah. We've made the long journey down through France. Boy, I can see your body moving. Don't really know what I'm doing. Just she make a she's struggling. I crashed my car into a ditch. Do you know where about? Padstow is on Padstow. Somewhere Wait. in England, isn't it? On his foot, on Pad's foot. It's on Pad's foot. It's on Pad's foot. Pad's foot. Pad's foot. Pad's foot. Pad's foot. <laughs> <laughs> the last bit we came through what they called pyramids, pyramid mountains. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Pyrenees mountains. Pyrenees mount. Pyramids are in e Egypt, aren't they? Yeah, we're quite far away from them. Yeah. <laughs> but beautiful, um, lots of windy roads and we're fishing it across two different towns, a place called Mechanenza and also a place called Fayon up there. Um, but we've got two days now unofficial practice away from the match length. This bit's um, a good few kilometres from where the actual match is held. We're not allowed to fish that until next week. And then um, Sunday is a bit of a prep day and it all starts next week, doesn't it? Can't wait to see whether you catch one of them great big ones. <laughs> if we hook out big, we'll pick the phone up and film it for you. So just a little bit on the gear that we're using at Mechanenza. Practice off the length today. Um, but we're doing a little bit of line to hand fishing and a little bit of normal pole. Seeing which one's best presentation. Some of you might recognise this bad boy. Shimano Solstice competition, nine and a half metre pole. Now, me and James have... Very luckily, borrowed a set of these off. A gentleman you might recognise or know in fishing, he's called Alan Scothorn. He's only won five world championships, um, but he's lent us his poles um, because on this particular venue, there might be a little bit of line to hand fishing. Got a 12 gram float on here, um, which obviously takes an awful lot of lead. It's about seven metres deep where we're fishing today. And that's a big tapered bulk of lead shot. So they start small here. These are number ones up to two gram shots at the top. And then the standard taper. So just shot getting further and further apart as they go down. That bulk's 30 centimetres from my loop. And then I've got a 25 centimetre hook lens. Um, I'm a size 10 feeder special. Hook lens 017 engage and the main line's 022 engage just for super durability. And if you come up to the top, which is quite a long walk, to be honest, we've got some 12 gram floats, round body, wire stem, solid plastic tip. Um, and the elastic on the pole rig's black hydro, awesome stuff, little pole elastic connector there. And on the um, pole to hand, which has got a lot thinner kits because the action's in the top of the pole on this, um, we've actually got some power gum. So that only comes out about three inches set really tight and again just a little power elastic connector so if it's really good we'll use the power gum and swing everything and if it's a little bit trickier you can get a little bit better presentation um with the pole mainly negative feeding to start with you ready for it go on then <laughs> nice and short because this slopes away like very much This is in your wallet. Gently swings it in, like so. Wallet. They're the stampers, brother, aren't they? Look at that. 
is a beauty mint fish. Are you a bit worried about your pool? Yeah, I'm on catfish duty. <laughs> You just see me box slide in. <laughs> Tip up. <laughs> <going. laughs> no, I'm, I'm saying this isn't one. Something else. Oh, oh. It's something else, I'm telling you. What the f? <laughs> <laughs> Bleak. You're going to get him? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, who's who's Paul? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think you're out of your peg. No. <laughs> oh, he hasn't even broke you. Yeah. No. Mouth that <laughs> <laughs> catfish one, Matthew nil. Zero, <laughs> you're right about that whip, Laszlo. Strong, innit? <laughs> you're saying there's a few short now. I need some stronger, smaller whips. Bleak fishing on the end. Sean, you can keep that. Laszlo, this is better. It's like you're bleak fishing for eight ounce fish. <laughs> ah, the old Pommy. Not intended though. I'm actually no? um, having a go for catfish, having lost a couple. And can't get through these. Three pieces of corn, four pieces of corn, five full worms. Catch one of these. <laughs> Ridiculous. Major problem. Oh, major issue. I think we need to stock some more into Ephraim from here. <laughs> oh, just one will do. Yeah, just one. Oh. <laughs> now nah, then, what's they got on there? Oh, hey, that's what do you say? You don't think it is? <laughs> oh, I think that might be a carp. Yeah, well, trust me, you ain't shipping back anytime too soon, kid. Oh, I'd love it to be a catfish. <laughs> You're gonna get this. You know that power gum you can't pull out your pole? There's about a foot of it out now. Must be a car. What's it? Fire. F me. I didn't expect that popping up, did you? Jesus. Go on then. This is that the biggest Zandy you've ever caught? What is that? That is ridiculous. <laughs> Want me to lift it out for you? You got it. He's a large one, brother, isn't he? Look at that. Double sweet corn. <laughs> it's a vegetarian zander. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Hey, now then. Now then. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good one, isn't he? Not bad, is he? What did you catch him on? Double sweet corn. <laughs> <laughs> did it mess your head up if I just flipped the whole table? Um, it'd mess your face up. <laughs> Why have you got a bigger pile of James? Because he faffs about with all the ones in the middle. Nah. Faffer. Are you King Faffer? <laughs> well, I'd like to say I am, but looking at this rig that I'm currently tying up, I'm saying not. I'll tell you what, kid, you're losing your hair fast. No, I'm going to go egg, aren't I? You are going to be James. Are you going to try and copy your brother? <laughs> baby thumb! You'll be super baby thumb. <laughs> Who's original thumb? Will Ray. <laughs> Baby thumb? <laughs> really baby thumb? Daddy Ginger thumb. thumb. Here. Let's go get daddy thumb. <laughs> Caught out in there yet, Paul? Bit more. Bit more? Bit more on that one, brother. How much more? No, number seven. Seven? Number seven. Are you going for? Yeah. Doing some rig strokes. And um, where are we going first day? A little bit shallower. So a few lighter floats. Prototype natural range. Now what? There's a tease of them, aren't there? Oh, when are you bringing that? You've been teasing them for ages. Well, let me tell you, I've got to make quite a few. They'll be coming soon. Oh, look. Oh, any indications? You got one? Oh! Whoa! Give it a look. What are you doing here? Practicing swinging a big one. What? What have you got? The whip's got it, innit? <laughs> what are they? What's these? Dangleberries you got on? 180 gram. Oh, yeah. 
Can we finish good? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Whoa. <laughs> you doing here, JD? Bit tight. Bit pingy. <laughs> pingy that. Nate's our power gun technician. <laughs> These are the poles that Alan's lent us. And we're just putting some power gun in. Power gun in. Is that a bit tight? Oh. <laughs> yep. Let's have a feel. Yeah, it's not pulling that out. No fish is pulling that out, brother. Quick update for you folks. Uh, at the end of Sunday, our final day of uh, preparation. Um, been a busy one, hasn't it? Very busy. Got loads of stuff ready from whips for bleak to whips for pommies <laughs> to whips for catfish to poles to hand to pole rigs, sliders, wagglers, bollos. Bit of everything, haven't we? Kitchen been sink. In. But it's one of them. We don't actually know really what we need and it's going to be hard work during the week keep at it aren't we tying up some rigs mm. and stuff like that but um we've had a good day and plenty done good couple of days off the length on um friday and saturday as well caught a load of fish there's so many fish in the venue um away from the match length we caught some massive pommies like big silver bream like you get in river trent aren't they incredible isn't it oh. never been to a venue like it at all and a few surprises as well yeah nice big zander Mass, that were biggest zander you've ever caught yeah i've only ever caught two or three so it were huge <laughs> great big one. um and then we've hooked a few weird big fish sure that they were massive catfish i'm yeah. convinced of it i know the welsh have caught one today and uh yeah. frankie saw a big one caught on the wall didn't he yeah where we're actually going tomorrow not that we'll that, be fishing for one, but we could easily latch into one that was 100 pound <laughs> plus that wasn't it massive what did you say Six foot? Two metres, something like that. Two metres. <laughs> Longer than me, that is. Um, but now, in terms of format for the week, um, we've got five official days practice. So um, we'll try and keep you updated best we can. We always try our best with it. It's a little bit rough and ready as always, but we've said we're going to be strict and try and do a bit of a daily update, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. And hopefully Frank will get some good footage as well, won't he? Yeah. Chances are we'll speak to you about Thursday. <laughs> See you soon. First morning of practice, pitch black, and we're all away. Right. Turn the light out, you're not supposed to have that on. When you're driving, I was just showing you my breakfast. What are you having for breakfast, pal? Uh, I'm having a nice 20 kilometre drive. Oh, fantastic. I'm taking for a nice coffee, that's why we're going too early. It's currently. Yeah. 5.42. I think we're a bit early. First um, official practice day, folks. Got everything ready. Don't really know what to expect. This is the town wall section in Mechanenser itself. The city is literally right behind us just here. None of us know what's happening. I mean, look there at the rigs. It's about a metre and a half deep. Got a few people doing different things. I'm just pole fishing today, long and short. Denton's got some sliders set up. Well, a slider, a fixed waggler. Um, and then we've got a couple of boys bleaking ready for it, love. Yeah, look forward to it. Let's see what um, other fish there is apart from bleak, because we can see a lot of them. <laughs> we? we can see a lot of bleak. <laughs> Just notice this lad here, we're on A and B for the last 10 minutes. He's getting a skimmer on a whip underneath where he's been fishing for bleak. This is Slovakian. Just had three, like decent ones. We just had three there, literally five meters out. Another one. Something quite important, lads. I just seen me filming there and he stopped fishing. He literally had five on that whip line. All skimmers, like decent sized skimmers on a whip to hand underneath where he must have been fishing for bleak. So that, that rings true to what potentially Laszlo said. That's the manager there just walking over. He told him to stop fishing when he saw me filming. So but yeah, I've noticed there's quite a few fish coming out short here he's had four or five as well he just had one then like a smaller skimmer but them size fish definitely seem to be coming in later on in the day as well so i don't think that can be ignored but good day's practice we've had sort of between four kilo and 12 kilo um dent has been on 
slider and long pole. He's had seven kilo out of proper fish. I've had nearly seven kilo of bleak and then four and a half kilo of other fish, just 10 kilo summer. Um, and Cameron and Will have both bleaked it for two hours. Um, and we weighed them after two hours. They both had nine kilo in two hours. So at the minute, so many different options, but hell of a lot of bleak in this place. I'm gonna take my hand off the speaker so you can hear the wind. It's wild. It's great. We're off roading. Woo oh, it's like a jackass. I don't know. Bayon. Whoa, and welcome to Cockney. Yeah. <laughs> Testing out the, the transit. This is the <laughs> stick of the England team. There's Sean Cameroon. Day two. Morning. Day two. Can't get my words out. <laughs> All them it's beers not, last night. It's the excitement, that's what it is. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? This bit looks good, doesn't it? Mmm, some fish top in this yeah, morning. Some, yeah, they reckon there was on top in here yesterday, so hopefully some have come in. This is where Hungary caught well in the afternoon as well yesterday. Yeah, 10 kilo in an hour, they reckon. So how, much are, you, how much are you going to catch in four hours? Three kilo. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Yeah, can't wait. Yeah. Okay. And I'm saying you don't get many drop backs. Drop backs? Back drops. Like that in fishing. Look at that. Sort some bait out. Got some poles to hand there. Alan Scotland's old Shimano solstice. Um, 700 event, that's obviously deep water, windy, aggressive fishing, want a strong pull and then bait separator out so that you can pace yourself so first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour full bait limit on the try team are just here, look at that, what a place, very excited this is Fayon, different bit to yesterday um, some of us again bleak fishing, some of us fishing Mainly proper fish. I've got two whips there for fishing on the bottom, four and five gram floats, and then on the big rigs I've got a six, a ten, and a twelve gram float for out there. Jack the Jack the Poe. That's the colour of his mix. Just natural brown. Watch him feed it. See how sloppy and red that mix is. Oh, but you can see it on camera because it's drifting all the way down there. Not good, in my opinion. Nowhere near as quick. I do a little bit more filming on Jack Park because he's definitely doing the best out of all these Italian lads. So mm, very good. Good stamp. But doing it dead wrong. Yeah, doing it bang right. Nice backdrop in it, mate. Look at that for vlog backdrop. Something different. We're in Zaragoza. Zaragoza. Day two of practice today. How did it go? Very, very good area. I think we were in E section, weren't we? About in the middle of the section. Um, it was about what six or seven meters deep deep lots of fish lots of bleak to start with sean had nine no ten kilo in the first two hours bleaking yeah yeah and then a bit of a steadier start wasn't it for everyone else fishing long pole and for other fish you could short for a little while didn't you yeah um yeah. but gradually it got better and better and obviously bleak died off a bit and we've all ended up with some cracking weights, haven't we? Last, what, what last two hours were lift off. You had a big carp, didn't you? Big carp, yeah, that was fun. What was that? 
four or five pounds? Uh, maybe. Six, Nearly as big as your Zander. Six pounds. But you had 19 and a half kilo today. Phenomenal. I had 20, 21 and a half. You were going to add a couple on then, weren't you? Yeah. 23 you were going Sean for. Sean had 23. <laughs> That's it. Um, so big weights in four hours. Phenomenal venue. Um, we've just been for the opening ceremony here in Zaragoza and take to, hey, we've got a two hour drive home and probably another McDonald's stop. Do you reckon? Yeah. Why not? We're going to do a deep, deep bit tomorrow. Um, oh yeah, in front of the, the old building. Yeah. Aren't we? yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try and get a picture of what it used to look like on the bottom. There's like old train tracks in the bottom of the um, river and everything. Incredible. See you tomorrow. Bye. Early morning ground bait duties. Still uh, pretty dark. But it's the James. <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, they lovely, mate, like when it crossed her. Not quite, but it does the job, doesn't There's it? There's Toby's like these. Nice oh, coffees. Mm -hmm. And the coffee machine. Because right. he's a coffee snob. Is he? Yeah. Day three of practice, folks. <laughs> Bit of bleak fishing. Manly bleak mix, it's not too sloppy. And then lots of bait in the balls, and then a few soft balls and a load of corn in just to get nestled in the rocks. Plums are horrendous, it's about eight meters deep. Um, but I told you Dre yesterday caught some fish, so fingers crossed. Bit of action on day three, thing we'll practice. We'll catch him very steady now. Deep old place as well. Look at that backdrop. Lovely fish to fishing for. I think that's a big roach. Unreal. So day three of practice, a different bit again. It's been a, quite a challenge. Very challenging. Spin round and show them why. The old railway station <laughs> behind us. And also in front of us, yeah. in the water. So obviously this was just a, before it got flooded, it's all still down there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, we put our plummets on this morning and um, there were a few mounds and grounds, but we got around it and despite the bottom being ridiculously uneven, and by that I mean some pegs if you went a meter to the left it came up six or seven feet on huge boulders um dropped a, a foot or two further out and you can feel your plummet rolling down four or five feet um well, that made obviously trying to feed trying to keep your bait in your swim difficult. very <laughs> difficult to say the least me and you were bleaking for the first couple of hours good one mm. it for an hour and 15 i'm gonna say and then i don't know what happened i think it was something to do with the sun mate got red hot sun were ridiculously bright and it was like this gone flick of a light switch on it but we managed to we've both had about seven kilo haven't we, we didn't that? i'll tell you what happened one of us had seven kilo 100 one of us had seven kilo 600 and tell you what, folks, it's the first time I've ever beaten bleak fishing. <laughs> we then went on long pole, and at the minute, tactically, it's panning out like bleak to start and then loading up your long pole line with bait. Yeah. 10 litres of bait at the start um, and letting it settle. Seems best, but we're only three days in. We've got one more day in the deep bit. Yeah. Yeah, that wraps up day three, and we'll uh, keep you updated. We'll have another update tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night. Day four, D section. There's lots of eyes here. It's solid. It's not comfortable. Run box 24, which will be the end box in the match. Whales are down there on 25. This is Germany. Just going to watch this lad here. He's had two or three since we've been here on the long fall, so definitely bites to be had. Good timing. There has been an odd crassio and stuff like that down here as well. As these um, pommies, that's a pommie, a little skimmer maybe. But yeah, there's been a cart down there as well and some crassio. So there's 
odd bonus fish. Quite a few anglers fishing 13 meters today, which I'm not convinced of, to be honest. I think there'll definitely be fish short here. Little hand sized skimmers, I've been told to watch the Hungarian. There's lots of little small skimmers on this end part of E section. Not so many bigger skimmers. Last 20, 30 minutes in D section. Fourth day's practice. It's been a good day. All of them are catching a lot of fish now. It's very good. Oh, I saw a swell. Come on. Big cat, I'm saying. There it is. There it is. Go on. Oh, come on. Go on. Big catfish after time. Look at that. <laughs> Late update on day four of practice folks. We've been busy um, sorting a lot of kit out because we've had a busy day's practice, haven't we mate? Very busy day and a lot of fish caught. A mm, few different methods coming into play. Um, none of us basically have fished more than about five metres out. <laughs> oh, it's been epic fishing on it. Yeah. Will's led the way with a massive 31 kilo <laughs> on a whip, which That's... is unbelievable. What do you work at? Nearly 70 pounds. Nearly on 70 pounds on a whip. In four hours. Look at this place, folks. If ever you come to Beckenenza, um, this kebab shop is phenomenal. Yeah. And tonight <laughs> we're having two each. I'm not even kidding. I'll put you a photo on. Two kebabs each. Here you are, look. One kebab. Two kebabs. Three kebabs. Four kebabs. For me and for him. And guess what else we've got? Chips with the most mayo and curry sauce and vinegar and ketchup and barbecue than you could ever imagine. And we're just driving out of Mechanenza. End of the final practice day, folks. I can't tell you too much about tactics because we've got a spy in the camp. Hello. Say hello, Marge. Hello. This is Marge. Guess where he's from? Borada. Borada. Wales. Um, <laughs> We've done good today, we've had a good practice, we've had between 16 and 22 kilo on the shallow bit. Um, how have Wales been getting on this week Marge? You're going to take the lead on this section oh. of the vlog. A little short really? one, you've got 30 seconds. Well, I think we've had bad boxes to be honest, because yeah. we've had like really deep stuff or really shallow stuff. Yeah. We've never had one of the nice ones that you've had. You've been in the tomb, haven't you? The bit mm. that's like 11 metres deep. It's where that massive meters. tunnel is. Right. Is it like a train tunnel that goes underneath? Yeah. The catfish tunnel. Thomas come out with that. Thomas yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you confident? Okay, <laughs> Are you confident going into the weekend? <laughs> yeah, do you know what? If, if we, we're doing well out of the bad areas, yeah. so well, we're good, going for it. Good luck. Have you got any jokes for the vlog before you go? What do you call a man with no shins? What? Tony. Sorry, I thought. I should be back to soil as well. The only thing is, all the barriers are up on this pair. Peg A8 on day one today. Um, you see it there. Just arrived at my box for about 20, 25 minutes before going into the box. Got some good, uh, got Laszlo just down from me on A10. I don't think I've ever been to a venue with as many fish in it before, so fingers crossed that we can do the business. C14 first day. It's the whistle, in we go. go. This is my home for today, look at how many people are in. So many. Already it's like 28 degrees. Oh, 
final 20 minutes here in Spain for the day one of the World Championships. I've been running for Dent Dog today and he's put in a masterclass on the old whip. Unreal performance, he's going to have well over 500 fish in four hours which is incredible really. Um, little skimmers, tiny pommies, um, better skimmers, fleek. It's been awesome to watch and run. There's a couple of anglers that are pretty close to James. I think that guy, he's got he'll have, he's got a big catfish and around about 20, 30 fish more than James right now. So I think he might win. But a bit of an update, everyone. I think he is in the top three. I'm throwing it out there. I uh, think James is doing brilliant. There's a couple of anglers up there that have caught a few better stamp fish, but James is uh, second on fish numbers which for anyone watching doesn't know, I'll show you now. I'm gonna to spend too much time filming everyone because I wanna watch the last 15 minutes of the match. These are the fish counts. And basically, they mean, they count every hour what the angler's caught. So this steward there counting every fish that James catches. And the uh, count and up. So it gives the teams a good idea about how, um, how the individual is doing. Um, but yeah, it's been brilliant to watch and uh, be a part of. As how the team is doing, um, got some good results uh, on, you know, up to now. The reports on the bank are England are doing well. Fingers crossed um, it is a good result. Um, I think Matt, I've heard, might not be doing brilliant, but that lad always does good. So I'm, I'll, be, uh, I'll be shocked if we... Um, a bad result today to be honest because I think we've got um, some great great reports coming in so fingers crossed and we will keep you updated it's stuffed with fish honestly there's so many fish in here and dog weighing in Big weight here, I reckon. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Well, end of day one, folks. Um, I've weighed in 21 kilos, 700, which I'm delighted with, to be fair. And I'm leading the section. Tanks just carried on down with the scales to see, hopefully, whether nobody beats me. Fingers crossed. Um, word on the bank is that the team has done quite well, so we'll head back and see what um, what's happened, but what a place. Day one of the World Champs for me, um, I was in C section, next to a tower which wasn't too happy about. We struggled there in practice and it plumbed up not very nice on the bottom for a pole. Um, made life a little bit tricky, but I had a fantastic day's fishing. Spent a little bit longer bleak fishing because the peg didn't plumb up as well. I ended up with 19 kilo 470, which was ninth in the 23 pegs. And I felt like I was sort of the best of the rest at that. Um, maybe should have fished a little bit further out, gone a little bit slower, but caught a few better fish later. Um, but um, Denty obviously won, Sean was second, myself ninth, and then Will and Steve from poor areas were both 13th in the section. What's the reckon, Tank? Day two draw? Any better? Better, I'm saying. Yeah? Yeah. Gent is on a good end. Got a bit of room for his right. Spare peg? Mm. Very good. That's what we need. I'm going for poo number two <laughs> of day two. Come on, the dead dog. Day two today, I'm in E section, E8. I think it's the right end of the section. Had a really good practice session here, so um, very positive going into day two. We're only six points off a medal, loads of teams in contention. So really exciting start to day two. Um, got everything crossed, we're in it. That's all, you know, it's half time. That's all you can wish for, wish us luck. It's day two of the World Championships out in Spain. Behind Dent Dog again today. Section win yesterday. Fantastic performance. He's on D section today. Um, it's actually drawn D11. Um, 
So section was one from peg six. So he's, I think this is a really good draw. I think he's happy, he's got the right depth, and also he's got a bit of room here, got an empty peg, because this peg here is about 30 meters deep, at about 11 meters, so it's really, it's so hard to fish. So they've left this peg out. It actually used to be an old tunnel. Um, but anyway, that's boring. And um, used really deep. A lot of good anglers in this section, but it's a world championship, so there's gonna be good anglers. Um, just about to do the bait check. For anyone watching that doesn't know what the crack is, basically you've got strict bait limits. So you've got 20 litre of ground bait limit, which includes your corn and hemp. Um, it's got about I think, a couple of litres of uh, corn there and about 18 litres of ground bait. And then you've got these other baits, which you know, are a mix of joker, worms and maggots. Uh, you get three litres of all this, so you can use three litres of live baits. But yeah, they're going to do the bait check in a second. I think they're coming up now, to be honest. Hoping for a good day. Get another win for James and uh, get him on that podium. And then team-wise, we've got, a, I think, a better draw than yesterday, everyone, to be honest. Um, I think it is a better draw. We've got James on D11. We've got Cameron on C5. B section, we've got Will Raisin, who's on B17, which is a good peg in that section, the better end. Uh, and then we've got A2, which is four pegs to the left of where James won the section yesterday. And then final section, which is about half a mile that way, uh, is Matt Godfrey. He's on E... What's he on, James? E8. Yeah, E8, uh, which is quite a fair section, to be honest. So, yeah, fingers crossed they can... Uh, Get a much lower score than yesterday. We're going to need it if we're going to get on the podium. But yeah, give us a slide on, James. Championship slide, that. Three bane, day two. In a dent dog, D11. Come on, lad. Get it one. Come on, dent dog. Go on. Right up there. Really close minutes for the final day of the world champs then it is smashing it it's been brilliant fished an unreal match just like yesterday what will be will be but we can't do any more let's see what happens waiting for dent dog come on Easy. two three h Two. Get in there, lad. Brilliant. Go on, lad. Come on. Heard them done well. Don't know where he's come. I am absolutely anxiety through the room. Is he going to be well dropped here? Come on, Denny. 23, nearly 24 kilo, James. Second in the section. Yeah, another amazing day on the River Ebro. Yeah, um, sounds like we've done really day. well, so we'll head back now and see whether what the results are. One of the best displays I've seen this weekend, mate. Very, very impressive. Thank you very Waiting much. Waiting for the overall results. We've heard that Dent has come second in his. Um, Team-wise, we've got 16 points today, which is phenomenal. I'm sure we'll win the day, and I'm just crossing everything that it's enough to get us on that podium. Oh. Nervous now. Third place, Sinasby, England. Good job. Second place, James Ben, England. Champion, Steve Martinez, Spanish. Oh, 
I know. <laughs> Captain is really fantastic, I'm saying, after yeah. the seventh position on day one. Silver team, silver individual, and bronze individual. Sean Ashby bronze individual as well. Now what? Three medals for England. <laughs>